know what I mean? Lord Zed, Shade 4 5th. It's like this. Yeah! What's fuck going on? It's the all out show. Word is born. We fucking now. We cold, cool and hype. Pabs in the room. Fuck now I'm doing. Sniffing gay. Like all day. Before the eight. Hooray! I'm fuck with the thing. I'm gonna do what I want. I spang in the face and I made that bitch cut. But no. That bitch is whack. I know he's smoking that crack. She cuts the head. The bitch is dead. Turn around and say, oh, here we go again. But it now we come to see this little top. I don't give a fuck. And that would suck. If you call her right now, we fuck the fuck go out. We would do looks here right now. Oh, man, you fucked up. You better leave the radio alone. We got the light to say what's up. Hey, who's on the line? Oh, fuck you. Hang up. And you a bitch and a nigga. I don't give a fuck. 888 Shade 45. Toll free number I. Yo, the show about to start. Wait, hold up. I got the fall like. That's how your shows are smelling. Fucking dirty. Can get with me. Sitting there crying. Oh, I be wee when it be like you real whiny. Fuck you. Let the show start. I'm out of here, my nigga. Word is wrong. Come on. It's Shade 4 5. The all out show. It's Shade 4 5. Here we go. Ugh. Yeah, man. Hey guys, what's up? It's All Out Show. How's everyone doing out there? Thursday. Yay! yay. It's Thursday on yay. the All Out Show. Yay! Just fucking, let me adjust these levels. Yeah, dog. Yeah, son. Yeah, son, son. What it do? Oh, what what it do? Well, we got a good one for you today. Okay. Um, Crooked Eye's coming by. Crooked Eye, the homie dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Crooked Eye. Oh. Homie dog, Crooked Eye. Okay, come by today. Uh, yeah. he came. He was out here in New York, and uh, because you know, like Cricket, I'd be on that real shit. So you know, we walk in chilling. Child of Static, we walk in chilling, and he hears some dudes talking about some like some gang shit. And he was like, "He just turned over. He said, 'Yo, sit, watch this.' I right, nigga, what you rap, nigga? What you rap? And it's, uh, and no, sorry, because he was in, the, you know, in the Ville." And all of a sudden, he just turned like nerd, like just mad scared. Like, no, we weren't. We were just talking. We were just, we were just rapping a rap song. Like, it was called Rapping Sets. And he scared them so hard, yo. He scared some kids about. They was talking about a rap song. He's like, "What you rap? Yeah, yeah, what you rapping, dog?" Like, and signed them songs, some gang shit around him. Mm. And, and he was like, "Wait a minute, man. I, I, nigga, I, what you rap, nigga?" And then they were like, "Nothing, sir." <laughs> It's it's bad. I wrapped these French fries from McDonald's. They're delicious. <laughs> it, it it's double dip, no salt. Thank you. Uh, yeah, please. Thanks. They're awesome. It's They're a, awesome, Mister Crooked Eye. Yeah, they turned real. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, you know, that's the New York. Most people, the New York. Most people turn different. turn real bitch when the rubber hits the fucking road. <sighs> When the rubber hits the road, you, you can you, we can discuss that. Too. Yes, uh, yes, yes. When he comes in here, yes. um, what's his affiliation? I'm not sure. Me neither. I can't. Yeah, I can't ever keep track of that. Yeah, stuff. it's yeah. It's like you know it, but then it's like Michigan wasn't crazy like that either. It wasn't. It's not like L.A. is. Yeah. You know. L.A. Is when I went down to go see Roy Choi shit, they like. Half of half of Watts couldn't go eat at Roy Choi's restaurant because, uh, because the gang divide. There's yeah, I was like, listening. There's a street. Yeah, there's a the street interview. that divides the shit. Damn. I know, but like, I don't th- like. You think about that shit. Like, I, I always think like, yeah, back in the seventies, uh, you know, it was like that in the eighties. But like, you don't think that like, oh, it's still like that. Like, they're still doing that shit to this day. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck, that's crazy. That's crazy. But that shows you how disconnected I am from that shit. I'm up there in Los Feliz. You guys can go anywhere in Los Feliz. Los Feliz. <laughs> Los Feliz. Yeah. 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 Really the hardest shit I went through in Los Feliz was they uh, double charged me for my my ginger, my hot ginger tonic. <laughs> Are you really coming with me? I'm living that real bougie life, bro. I'm telling you. You work hard, you bust ass. You work hard, you bust ass, you grind, and then you can go buy yourself a ginger tonic from some bougie fucking place. That's, I know a ginger that's, uh, tonic. That's the life. Yeah, 
That's it. That's the life. All right, so we got a crooked eye. We have what would you do? Yeah. Sam's got the news on deck. On deck. On deck. We got a hater love it, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Hater love it. We got a bunch of things for you. So I think I think it would be best if y'all just stick around and listen to this show, the all out show. Let's go. This is the all out show on Shade 45. And now, here's Sam with the Ninja News. In the news today, guys, there is an elderly man who died while having sex with a prostitute, and he was wheeled away by paramedics with the prostitute still attached to him. What? Oh, my God. Yes. Uh, Wait, how how is the prostitute? St- his dick swallow up or something? Or? Yeah, they say it was caused by a rare occurrence called penis captivus. <laughs> um, this is where the vagina muscles clamp down on the penis much more firmly than usual. So it, it was it was the hooker who actually couldn't get a, like it wasn't his dick got so big it was the hooker squeeze so hard. Yes, but not like uh, it doesn't have to be on purpose. Like it could be uncontrollable. What? Clearly, Cl- like who wants to get stuck with a dead man <laughs> inside of him? Hi. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey guys. But, but then because of. Those contractions, then the muscles of the penis also become further engorged, just making it worse. Oh, it's like it's like uh, one thing making it worse and worse is there's a word for that. But I don't know it because I'm a fucking retard. But it's like it's it's, yeah, it's that thing. The one thing making the other thing worse. (laughs) There's actually whatever that phrase is. um, I'm going to say a Mexican standoff. I think I'm wrong. (laughs) Yeah, Prid, quid pro quo. Quo. You got a video of this shit? Well, Did you send a, it to me? Yeah, well, I tweeted it. It's also in the rundown. Um, it's oh, basically bro. just they covered him in a blanket, though, but you could see her moving on top of him. He's dead. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, Yo, dude, honestly, like real talk, if I'm that hooker, let's say, let's say I, I'm born with a vagina and I was molested when I was like seven and I become a hooker when I'm 25 or something like that. And I, you know, I dabble with it and I buy a bag like an expensive bag yeah. from turning tricks and some dead motherfucker dies inside with w- inside of me. What could you do? And I would chill. I'm not calling anybody. I'm not calling. I'm not picking up that fucking phone. I'm not picking up that phone to, f- for them to find a fucking corpse in my pussy. <laughs> I'll start doing breathing exercises. I'll fucking massage my butthole. We are not doing this shit. Hey, you going shopping? Yeah, we are not funny. No, I'm not. I'm not the one. Like, it's all right, dude. It's already bad enough. You're fucking, uh, uh, you know, a prostitute. Like, that's already looked down upon. But dead guy. I get it. She wants to get away from this guy a- ASAP. But but you can't unring that bell. He's been he's already dead in you. So fuck it. You might as well just yeah, chill. Then he's just going to get colder and colder. Uh <laughs> You right. How how quickly does that? How quick does the fucking? All right, let me see. Oh yeah, his his feet look dead than a motherfucker. I mean, oh man, they like they bright white. <laughs> let's see. This oh, she's in, hiding on top. This was in China. Oh, nice little ass. She's oh, 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 the shame. The shame. Oh, dude, just oh, having to get sh- carted off with a blanket on top of you. You got a blanket on your back and a dead guy in your pussy. That dick is in me. I owe that soup. He died in me. <laughs> oh, so. Oh, like late 90s. Oh, no, boom, boom, black man. Black man too big. Black man big. He hurt me inside me. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> Sam don't like it when we do the shitty Asian No, jokes, right? yeah, she- she was chill when I was fucking butchering the uh, butchering the Ecuadorian broads' fucking voices. She was like, "Yes, oh, I, I think it's <laughs> keep it going." What about the banana? What about the banana? Hey, 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 we did it. Oh, oh, so big, boy. Oh, oh, so big. Oh, oh, oh so tight. Oh, 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 you're so cold. Oh, oh yes, hello, great. hello, nine one run, nine one run. <laughs> So one, one. Oh, 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 nine, one, one. Oh, this man inside of me is so cold. Oh. I hope you're coming. 
Well, how did they? What did they end up doing? Well, Give her a fucking soma or some shit? How they, did they? How did they they stop assumed that? that they were taken to the hospital to be surgically separated, but what? It's un. It's not known. Definitely. <laughs> I'm playing the waiting game, bro. Like, I'll wait three hours. I'll they, wait three hours. They say one way in which doctors are able to separate people stuck together is by giving the woman an injection commonly used to dilate the uterus of pregnant women. Uh. But, like I said, they're not sure if this was actually done or not. That would, that would, I think it's better than fucking chopping the goddamn dick or something. Because then you're going to have to fish the dick out. Have you ever tried to fish out a condom that came off? Like, imagine fishing out a, a, a severed dead man's penis from your vagina. Well, the blood would probably just leak out, and then it would probably Ooh. just come out. Guys, this is we got really bad really quick. Sorry, on, everybody. Man. I want to apologize. This has probably been the most offensive thing we've talked about all week. Oh, man, why? Snowball effect. There's snowballs. Thank you, PC. Yeah, all right. The snowball is... The, it, the yeah the problem grows exponentially bam look at that shit i'm just saying words now all right what else in other news uh lil wayne's super bowl 50 commercial has been released um he appears in a super bowl commercial for apartments.com you guys can see it too if you want I yes, it on the twitter right. and uh in the rundown all right let's look at this shit we'll fucking we'll be the judge of this we will judge it the website has Apart- released uh the official one minute spot that features lil wayne alongside a portrayal of george washington what uh, it stars actor Jeff Goldblum as Brad Bellflower, Silicon Valley Maverick. Jeff Goldblum. Oh, that's a, that's the, the fly. fly. That's he's forever the fly. That's yeah. We're moving on up, moving on up. to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. He's playing a piano that's being pulled up a being pulled up a, a high rise. We're Jeff Goldblum's actually a good uh, musician. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's yeah he plays he plays out. Where's L- Lil Wayne at? Now there's like people with gospel. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. Is that George and Wheezy? Who else would it be? Uh huh. And what are you cooking there, Wheezy? Just flame butter some burgers and grilling some beans, my good man. You say right. beans? All right, so, what, wait, why did it stop? All right, so George and Wheezy, all right, George Washington and Lil Wayne, George and Wheezy. Oh, oh well I get it, oops. Uh, is that George and Wheezy? I bought us some burgers. I'm just playing with some burgers. Beans. What did he say? Did you say beans? Beans don't burn on the grill. Don't forget about my signature apple pie. <laughs> Change the world. That's weird, man. Oh, hey, get money, dude. Like, get money. Uh, Drake is also going to star in a Super Bowl commercial. He's set to appear in a spot for T-Mobile based on his hotline. Uh, yeah, music I video. saw that shit. That's cool. Look, man. Like when <laughs> rap came out, when rap first came out, it was so it was such a subculture that doing anything, getting any type of crossover, like uh, you was considered success. sellout. You was a sellout, and part of it was it was sour grapes because we we weren't accepted by the fucking by by the popular culture. So if you do some shit with popular culture, you are thought of as a sellout. I mean, some rappers like if just too many white people started liking them, no, what people they they didn't change their music. It would just be too many white people liked them, and then they wouldn't they didn't fuck with them anymore. Mm -hmm. They they were thought of as corny or some shit like that. Corny ass. You know, that was that was 25, 30 years ago. Now we fucking, we fast forward to present day and I got fucking, I got to look at Lil Wayne baking pies on, on in a high rise apartment. It's fucking weird, dude. <laughs> hey, check out my signature pack. Uh, you know, you know, I just have my little signature album. Excuse me? Oh, Who is this? Uh, Who is this? Lil Wayne's Oh, what's up, Wayne? Check out my signature album. Oh, how is it? Did Drake over here? I'm Drake. I'm mm-hmm. Drake. Who else? I, they're all the same. <laughs> I'm Drake. I Lil Wayne. Uh, I got Shane in my <laughs> pussy. I'm Drake. Oh, what's going on, man? I used to call you on my hotline bling. Oh, damn, man. You sounded good, bro. I was listening to Bill Burr. He did a whole bit on this shit, and he was spot on with the hotline shit. Like, he basically, like, this is his booty call. 
And now he's all mad that she's fucking other dudes. Like, you sound like a bitch, dude. Like, <laughs> it used to call me. <laughs> I've never called up a booty call and been like, you fucking other guys, aren't you? Like, that sound lame as fuck. Yeah, like, bitch. Like, I moved away. You better not be giving out my pussy because I didn't want a wife. <laughs> you used to call me. Whatever. Yeah. All right, so uh, anything else? Yeah, a couple more. Uh, this is kind of weird, but <laughs> Panther Safety Roman Harper is offering up his apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina over Super Bowl weekend while he plays in the Super Bowl. A listing oh. has appeared on Airbnb.com, which offers a fan and a friend the chance to rent his apartment for a night and watch uh, the Super Bowl. It's, uh, Why are you renting out? His, like, is, are you doing yeah. that bad in the fucking... Yo, dude, there's certain shit that you can't do when you're famous. Like, and mm-hmm. rent out your apartment on Airbnb is one of them. It says, quote, come watch <laughs> me play in the Super Bowl oh, from my own couch. Uh, to I rent need it. some money. <laughs> rent my well, fucking apartment. No. Times are tough. They, they say it, you have to pay $5,000, but proceeds are going to his own Home 41 Foundation. Wait, and oh, okay. Airbnb will match the donation. And who he playing? Oh, but okay. He'll so, also okay. give a signed football. So Airbnb is giving this guy some money to rent out his apartment. Yeah. This is this is the behind the scenes shit that I didn't see, but I can I already see it coming. Airbnb mm-hmm. wants to get some shine. They go holler at this dude. Hey, would you be willing to do a fucking little rent out thing? We can't have you looking like you're poor. So and like you really need the money. So we'll we'll take that money, throw it towards some children match and call it a day. Bob's your uncle. Everybody wins. Who's he playing that for? being said. I'm not letting nobody up in my fucking house, man. Yeah, no, no. I got, like, way too much shit in there. He says the rules are there's a maximum of two guests, no pets are allowed, uh, especially Broncos, and no parties are allowed. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, come to my house and have the loneliest Super Bowl party. For five, spend five thousand dollars and have a lonely Super Bowl party on my couch, just you and another person. But he also says that the main room has a seventy-inch screen. Whoa! (laughs) That you and your one friend can watch watch it on. And your pathetic, lonely ass just blew five thousand dollars on nothing ass Super Bowl party. He wants to go to a whack ass bar with a bigger TV and watch, you know, bar. And yeah, with people. That right. That's the whole thing about the Super Bowl. Like Hello. people gather. It's a it's a, it's a it's a reason to gather. It's a gather and chicken wings. Only two people allowed in my apartment. The fuck out. Yeah, man. right, motherfucker. I would get a spray can and do a fucking throw up and a piece and characters and that shit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. You know they're gonna have your fucking. You know they're gonna have your goddamn uh, credit card, man. That shit's just gonna get charged uh, right back to you. Damn. I didn't think yeah. About that. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Foiled again. You're like, where's this charge from? Duh. What's that? What's the next? And last in the news today, Vin Diesel confirmed that a final Fast and Furious trilogy would be produced. He took to Instagram on Wednesday to reveal uh, dates for part eight, nine, and ten, which will drop April fourteenth, twenty seventeen, April nineteenth, twenty nineteen, and April second, twenty. I think this is a typo. Twenty twenty twenty. There it you says go. Twenty twelve, but I think it's twenty two, <laughs> respectively. Um, details for the final trilogy are unknown, but reports say Fast Eight may take place in Cuba with uh, F. Gary Gray. The people Hello. gather. It's a ga- it's a, it's a it's a reason to gather. It's a gather and chicken wings. Only two people allowed in my apartment. The fuck out. Yeah, right, motherfucker. I would get a spray can and do a fucking throw up and a piece and characters and that shit. <laughs> fuck that shit. You know they're gonna have your fucking. You know they're gonna have your goddamn uh, credit card, man. That shit's just gonna get charged uh, right back to you. Damn. I didn't think yeah. About that. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> Foiled again. You're like, where's this charge from? Duh. What's that? What's the next? And last in the news today, Vin Diesel confirmed that a final Fast and Furious trilogy would be produced. He took to Instagram on Wednesday to reveal uh, dates for part eight, nine, and ten, which will drop April fourteenth, twenty seventeen, April nineteenth, twenty nineteen, and April second, twenty. I think this is a typo. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty. There it you says go. 12, but I think it's twenty two, <laughs> respectively. Um, details for the final trilogy are unknown. But reports say Fast 8 may take place in Cuba with uh, F. Gary Gray to be directing. Oh, okay. I haven't seen any of them. I've never seen one of those either. I've never seen. I don't really give a fuck about car movies. Yeah. The only one about car movies are 007. 
Those are dope. Even that, like, I didn't see this last 007, Ooh. but the one Skyrim or Rim Job or Skyfall, the whatever the fuck it's called. Rim job. Spectre. So, yeah, that shit was hot, man. Rim, Rimfall. Yo, uh, yeah, I'm telling you, man. The yeah. wrestlers in it. Well, the, I don't know about that. The one I saw was, it was like a 30-minute fucking chase scene at the beginning. I was like, what is this all for? I don't, I don't need to see people running. Like, I watch track if I want to see that shit. Show me some fucking plot. Yeah, like just your storyline. There's never any plot in these kind of movies. Nah, man. Nah, there's not. Like, you said there's a wrestler in this. Yeah, um, and, and um, um, Batista is in a new one. Is no. he? Oh, yeah, yeah. this shit is dope. He plays good. He's not no corny like, oh, get you. And like, no, no, that stupid shit. Well, I'm gonna go see it then. It's good. And that Done. was it for the news today, guys. Good job. You sure? No food? No anything? No, no food today. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's go. This is the All Out Show on Shade 45. In what might possibly be the most controversial feature on the radio today. Bitch, don't play that shit on this radio no more. This is the place where careers are made. That shit was awesome. I love it. And broken. Yeah, what's up, you fucking poser, man? That shit was wack. It's time for Hate It or Love It. On Shade 45. Yeah! Shade motherfucking 45. Let's go to the... Where's, where are we going to? Pennsylvania? Yeah, the PA. PA. What's up? Uh, Seamus. Yeah, how you doing? Welcome to the show, Seamus. Uh, you are a rapper. That's correct. You're 45 years old. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've been at it for a long time. Have long, long time. Able- yeah, forty five is you've been you've been in it for a minute. You've been there since the beginning. Uh, oh yeah. How career. How is your career going so far? Uh, it's definitely starting to take off now that I've got the tools falling right into place. You know, I uh, got a studio up in the house. Um, you know, I had to get some equipment put together. Uh, times hit hard when I had money saved up, and so I had to go you know go fix the car instead of getting some keyboards and some music programs. But got it up and running now. So yeah, we're we're doing good now. I mean, you're 45. Like, you can't, you can't, like, the lack of a career at 45, you can't blame it on a car breaking down. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. I'm not just saying right. there's one okay. car. It was just, it was just was a, a lot of cars. It's a lot of cars. Yeah, a lot of right, cars. Right. A lot of cars. <laughs> now, it was just, just a lot of, a lot of things separate away. I mean, we're still getting, still getting songs done, just not, uh, you know, the level that I wanted to get them done, I should say. So I, I had to step back and uh, start doing things myself because I was relying on a lot of other people as well uh, right, to right. get, you know, come through with mastering. So just had to put it in my own hands. Now, now moving forward, what are you doing to make money right now for yourself? Are you doing it with rap music or do you have another job? No, I have another job. I work a full-time job, night shift. Uh, so you know, I've got that, hustling that. Uh, I, You know, and again, like I said, I'm from Pittsburgh, so, you know, I've been out here in Salt Lake for a couple of years uh, for family and stuff like that. So I uh, don't have, you know, the support that I would back east, you know, uh, being in my own city and everything like that. So that's a little bit difficult to deal with as well. Uh, so, you right. know, still trying to, still trying to, you know, uh, make a lot of obstacles. Out here. Yeah, a lot, yeah. lot of obstacles. Yeah. So important. Sounds like, That's... sounds like you're, you know, sounds like you're getting it though. Let's, uh, let's, oh, yeah. you, you work at a warehouse night shift. You finally got some stuff where you can, where you can, uh, you know, make your song. What is the song you're going to play for us on Hate or Love It, sir? Uh, this one here is called Fucka. <laughs> oh, Fucka. Fucka. Like yeah. F-U-C-K-A. Fucka. 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 Yeah, it's correct. Fucka. T- tell me a bit about Fucker. Uh, well, it was just a lot of a lot of things going through my mind, a lot of things I didn't like in life, uh, some things I just wanted to point out, and I came across this beat, and it just kind of spilled out. You know, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could even do a part two to it because there's just so much shit going on, but uh, it was just some yeah. ideas I had. The beat the beat spoke to me, and I just started throwing it down. Well, fucking hey, let's uh, let's play this song and see how people feel about it on Hater Love It. Yes. Seamus right. is his name. Hurt. He's a warehouse worker. The song is called Fucker. <laughs> Let's go, J45. Fucker. 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 Fuck it, 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 fuck it
is All Out Show on Chain 45. All right, we are back. It is Hated Eleven with Rude Jude and Lord Sierra Call Up. Now, let's know what you think. We got uh, Seamus here. His song was called Fucka. Let's see how people feel about your song. We're going to start off in Detroit with this. We got Rich in the D. Hate or love it. Hey, man, who produced that beat? Seamus. Uh, this uh, dude out of I don't give a here. fuck, nigga. That shit was some <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you <laughs> fucking retirement home. Find a fucking graveyard and roll your old ass over God. in a motherfucking hole. That shit was some <laughs> bullshit, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, okay. Trash. So get All the right. fuck out of here, dude. That's it's all called right. a homeless you, deuce. You, you, you ain't trying to do your shitty ass opinion. You know what I'm saying? If the world's allowed to it, you know? So well, go we ahead. got more opinions for you. Homeless deuce, what up? Yo, what's up, man? Hey, Seamus. Fuck, our name is Seamus. You don't sound like a fucking Amish person. Go turn some butter. Fuck a career. Fuck a life. Yeah. Jump off the fucking top floor of your nut-ass apartment. You're terrible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd like to hear your shit, but, yeah, Seamus is actually an ancient fucking Gaelic uh, name for James, dude. Ancient Irish. Nigga, you're, you're, 40, you're 45. You are ancient. I don't Give it a rest. I don't, you know what, so like, you know what I'm saying? I can still bang it out with anybody. I'm built like a brick shit house. So the aging... AJ nothing, AJ AJ nothing, AJ nothing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? You hear a song, you don't say the motherfucker sound like he's 30 years old. It don't matter how you sound, it don't matter the age, it's what you bring. And I bring some ill shit, so go on ahead right. if you like. You're entitled to that. Fra uh, Frank and Marilyn, let's see what, how, how Frank likes it. I don't fucking like it, man. Man, fuck <laughs> you, man. I love social media, man. Kiss my fucking ass, man. Fuck out here with that fucker. You're fucking 45 fucking years old, man. You could have used that goddamn time to get how many motherfucking jobs, man? We're fucking playing and wasting that goddamn time with that shit. It's day 45. You better play that shit to MTV, homie. Goddamn. Fuck out that's that's all good. That's all right. Still, my, got my that's all right. I'm fucking call last night. Goddamn ass off. Fuck off. Uh -huh. I'm like, man, I'm 29 yeah. years old. I'm about to go get some pussy. Fuck off. Big yeah, John. Yeah. Go Big ahead. John, hate or love it? Hey, I love it, man. Fuck you. Thank you, Big John. Let him hate on you, man. You do thank your you, shit, Big John. Dude. Thank you. Thank you, Big do John. Do your shit, bro, because guess what? I got to get your social media shit so we can get together because I got some shit for you. Nigga, I'm 44 years old. I got some oh, shit. Kill these motherfuckers, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. This is That's some old school shit. Hey, it's old yeah, school. Yeah, school, 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 school literally. They say saying shit out here now. All right, tell them. Let's, yeah. yeah. let's go to Jared in South Carolina. Hate or love it, Jared? Man, I'll tell you why that last 44-year-old motherfucker like this. Because both of them old as shit. Their wives yeah, done kicked them both out the house. The old ladies don't want nothing to do with them. And now, Seamus, you need to tell the truth why you moved out to Utah. Everybody in Pittsburgh done banned your ass from the city because you whack as fuck. You ain't you shit. You life. need to get a real job and stop trying to rap, your old grandpa ass yeah. Yeah, you know what? It's old school, dog. It's old school. You know what I'm saying? Oh. And it ain't because I got ran out. I ain't got ran out. You talking shit you don't know nothing about. I ain't get run out. Ooh. I ain't never even fucking blown up in there. So what are you talking about, man? How can shit out your ass? Mm. Trivia in Florida. Hey, I love it, trivia. I love it. Thank you. Okay. All right, that's love. It, All right. Man. A man of, a okay, man of little love. words. He liked it. Denise in Long Island. Hey, I love it. Hey, I loved it. What? Thank you, Denise. Wait, hey, Seamus, are you a black guy? What's that? Are you a black yeah. guy? Yeah. No, I'm a white girl. I love that stuff. I like it. I thought it was pretty good. I'm, I'm pure Irish. Thank you very much. You guys should get oh, together and have some pink babies. Some little pink-ass sunburnt babies. I like what y'all oh, talking yeah. about. Why yeah. all the way here? Right, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Sam in Washington. Hey, I love it, Sam. Hey, bro, I got one thing to say. I tell you, go back to your fucking day job, but you got a night job, bro. So focus on the night job because you're fucking lame, dude. You fucking yeah. suck, bro. Get the fuck out there. Yeah, where can I check your tracks out? Of? You got any tracks? No. Nah, are, so. are, you, are you white or black, bro? Yeah. It's weird right now. You ain't got your ears open, motherfucker. Fred and the D, D had her love it. Hey, man, this, this nigga had the nerve to call during Black History Month. Call during St. Patrick's Day, you bullshit ass. <laughs> ass <nigga. laughs> that shit was horrible. Yeah, 
that shit was cool. Hey, man. Hey, man, you're 45 years old, man. Go throw in something dick, you weak-ass nigga. That shit was uh-huh. awful. Yeah. All right. Uh, go ahead. Go Corey ahead. and Windsor, hey, to love it. Love it. Come on. You, you got to have some lyrical skills. Like, you know, a lot of the stuff you hear on the radio, people ain't got no skills. They just got a good beat, and they keep saying the same thing over and over again. Listen to the fucking song. Like, come on. Okay, thank so you. The guy's got you like what skill. he's talking about. All come right, on. so John, John in Rhode Island. Hey, to love it. Hey, man, I love that shit, man. I, don't get me wrong. The beat fucking sucks. I'm going to have it. I love fucking hip-hop, man. I grew up around hip-hop. The beat was whack. It's what hip hop is supposed to be. It's a fucking message. It's a fucking story. It's not about gold chains, red cars, tight jeans, and fucking gay ass fucking haircuts. Niggas wearing pink and makeup. What the fuck? No, this is hip hop, baby. That's exactly yeah, that's what I'm talking about. about hip hop. All right, we're gonna. That was, was hip hop. Mm-hmm. Last call from Queens. Hip hop. Let's go, uh, DJ. Yo, my dude, stop rapping. Jude, why you doing hair that leather for, yo? You, you niggas is lame on here, yo. There's only <laughs> one female that won that shit. Only one female that won hit up leather, and that was that girl, Victoria something. All you niggas on nah, here are lame, dog. Stop rapping. You 45? Come on, dog. Like, go get some call. Cool. Go get it's some called never giving, it, dog. It's, no, it's called never giving up, dog. Like, Blue you know, Jude, you gave stop up. doing I'm hair sure that leather. You gave up on a lot of things. Like, I'm sure real, you gave yo. up on a lot of things by now. I'm sure because you've been gave up on. You know what I'm saying? This nigga's just lame, Like, come on, my dude. Stop doing that. Leave me out. Sear picked this song. Hi. Sear picked this song. Leave me out of this one. This nigga's just lame, homie. Yeah, you lame, motherfucker. I ain't hear your shit when you playing your shit on the stage. Because I can't rap. Because I... You know, because I can't, because I can't, you're, 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 you're an amateur critic, you're an amateur critic, you don't even know skill, you don't even know skill. So- I'm you can't, I can't rap, I know you can't, I know because I'm telling you, it's got you jumping like, oh, my shit is lame, you can't even rap. jump up on I know I can't rap, I'm good with that, I make it, you're an amateur critic, you're an amateur critic, you keep yelling at people that they can't rap because they don't like your raps. Well, no, you know, you know, it's amateur critics That's, out there. You know what I'm saying? Okay, they're okay to hate. They're okay to hate. They're okay to hate. I just call them amateur critics. If everybody critics could because, rap, there would be nobody to listen. That's the, like I, I hear what you're saying, uh, but like, yeah, doggy, come on, man. All right, well, are you, know, like are, said, you are you are you ready to count it up? Let's count it up. Where yeah, where are we at? Uh, one, we got one, two, three, four, five loves, and we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight hates. All right, look, you didn't win, but you did decent. You got a bunch of loves, man. Like, yeah, was I that, well, I was that encouraging? Was that encouraging or, or what? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I, I want give you. A fuck. Okay. That's social media. Fuck you, you stupid fuck. Did nothing. Fucking shame and soft love, fuck up. Hey, boy, fuck you and the hey, fucking oh, life boy. you live. You bitch, get your fucking car, sit in it, put the stick in the car, and fuck your ass with it. You dumb fucker. Sheamus. It's a fucking shame. That's a 45. You still rap it. What a fucking shame. Turn it down. Turn it down. Sorry. Sorry. Turn it down. Sorry. My bad. Sorry. All right. Uh, where can he go to send their music to? If you think you have what it takes to win on Hater Love It, send your shit to Hater Love It 45 at gmail.com. Yes. Please, so music, come right back with uh, Quick It Out. Shade 45. This is the all out show on Shade 45. All right. We're back. 88 Shade 45. It is the all out show. We got Crooked Eyes sitting up in the studio. What's up, man? What it do, though? How you doing, man? Welcome to the show. Man, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me, man. Is this the first time you've been here without everybody or the second time? Um, Yeah, man. I think... uh Feels better, doesn't it? I think it? this is the first feels, time feels, I had some elbow room, feel, you know? Feels better, right? I ain't got nobody guy. stepping on my comments and all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't got to wait for Joe to get done before you, know you can saying? jump in like, God damn God it. God damn it, Joe. We know you got a podcast, man. All right, man. <laughs> 
You came in here ready too. You got your old English eight hundred tall boy. Oh yeah, man. And a motherfucking. It looks like you got one of the most gourmet uh, vapor vaporizers. Yeah, man. On the market, that bitch looked like a motherfucking baby monitor with a <laughs> with a goddamn oh my God. jellyfish on that bitch. Yeah. It's a lotus, like a motherfucking uh, Dark Vader jellyfish. Yeah. emblem on it. <laughs> Y'all motherfucking vaping cats be taking that shit real serious. Like, what is that? Do you know what it's burning at? Like the it, flavor. Yeah. No, you can get like different, like ha- have it burning oh, at, different- at different levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm at full. I'm full blown right now, man. You know, I got another one that's that is a, uh, it's a, it's a, it's in the shape of a mic. Well, it's a mic. They hollowed out a mic. Yeah, and they made a vape module out of it. Oh, you know what dope. I'm saying? And it tells me digitally, digitally which what level I'm vaping at on these you just turn this little knob right here you just don't know exactly you know what i'm saying this is my little this is my little side bitch that's <laughs> it smells it smells like when you start to hit it smells like pancakes in here yeah this is like mango syrup pancake flavor <laughs> <laughs> that shit is fucking that shit's awesome i was telling you off the air i was i i had uh i got in a car accident and i couldn't exercise and i was eating all the time so i was like i need to start smoking something or else mm. i'm gonna get fat yeah. so i started vaping and that shit was awesome. And then I tried to go run up a hill, and it it fucks with your wind. Yeah, it's it's not better than not smoking, but it is better than smoking. Yeah, that's exactly. I mean, for me, man, it was just too many cigars, dog. Like I was, I was smoking a like smoking a cigar every day. That's too like many. a grown up cigar too. Not even like splitting it and putting. No, 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 no. Yeah, the real cigars, like you know, I, Romeo and Julieta or. You know, um, Cohibas or whatever. And oh, you smoking? Just, yeah. And it's just like you know, Tetuate or whatever. Just, just too what? many, dog. A, <laughs> ho- a whole Churchill. You know what I'm saying? Like, dog. That's bad on you. Yeah, you know. And then you know, on my father's side of my family, dog. Like, cancer runs rampant. You know what I'm saying? And I'm kind of living on the edge, just like puffing away and shit. You know, it's what one I'm of those deals too, though. It's like, I. Yeah. It relaxes me, dog. I love. I, well, look, man. Like now, I'm vaping though. I'm the, I'm mental illness kind of runs on my dad's side, and I right. do everything possible to lose my fucking brain. Like I, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> so you gotta live your life. <laughs> you gotta live your life, dog. But this is like, yo, you know what, man? I start feeling something like you know, pause in my throat. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to pause. Here. I was like, there's no, you don't have hey, to pause. Yeah. 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 We, we know, we know, we know. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> I, I'm off. I'm off that. I'm off that for a while. Every now and then, I go. But this vape been really doing good for me, and I'm just starting to get into the culture, man. Here's the problem, though. What's that? Now? You know what they call vapes? What do they call it? Douche flutes. Why do you say that? Because they they say they're douchey. They're de- they're. De- that's why I said they're de- divisive. Like oh. there's. I feel like you're being. I feel. I'm just telling you what's going it's on. It's like what? What? I'm better than you. Type I don't of shit? You see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're shutting down. You're pulling back right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're so divisive. Like people don't. People are anti-vaping like they're anti-vegans. What? I swear to God, dude. I swear to God. Why? I don't know. I don't know. That's That's why I wanted to ask you if you felt that, and if so, how come? So you haven't felt it. I haven't felt that one yet. Do you think it's because you beat someone up? Um. Yeah. Now, I'm just playing. Now, you know (laughs) what it is, dog? The thing about the vape culture, like, when you got a mod, they call it the module. Yeah. You know, you have to. Your your vape module comes with a toolkit, so you're basically you're working on you're your, working and you're doing things like I could see how people feel like that's for nerds and geeks type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not, when I want to smoke, I'm not gonna break down this and put this oil in and change the cotton and unscrew this for the charge the battery and you know it's like really a yeah, technical thing that you have to do. So you know I think maybe that's why some of the vapes you know might. Do that, but I, I I'm just a regular degler, man. Did, <laughs> know, did that. you see Leonardo DiCaprio vaping at? at oh, the, was he? Yeah, he was vaping at the SAG Awards. That's what I'm talking about. So, Come on, Leonardo. That's another reason why I want him to win an Oscar. Exactly. He out there vaping. He's vaping, kissing at, on Rihanna. He don't give a fuck. <laughs> he don't give two fucks. What? Look, man. I, yeah, I got no problem with vaping. I, as a matter of fact, I like the smell of it. Yeah, it's cool, like, man. I'm, I'm mixing my own personal 
vape liquid now. You should have. Oh. You should get. You should have your own line. Well, maybe, but right now I'm just tasting different people's stuff, and I'm like, nah, I don't like that. I don't like that. Then I met a chemist who mixes that shit. I'm like, okay, well, let me mix my own personal stash. You know what I mean? When are they gonna start doing savory vapes like uh, sausage and pepperoni <laughs> pizza? <laughs> What are they going to have turkey dinner vape? Damn, damn. That's the ultimate diet. Yeah. yeah. Just go in there and vape your food. Yeah, straight up. <laughs> These are all questions I have. This, this, this That's a all... big industry, though, dog. That's the thing I'm tripping on. I'm like, I think they got like a big convention I'm going to attend in Detroit in March. And, oh, uh, so you're full blown into the, you're like yeah full, I'm into it man I, I'm looking I'm trying to man look I know this is the this I'm is sorry the for, module this is the atomizer Jesus like Christ. I know all this bullshit <laughs> shit that I'm what, not supposed to know what do the what is what does the slaughterhouse think of your vaping mm. Uh man you know slaughterhouse man they just leave me alone man they just let me do whatever the fuck I want to do. <laughs> they probably oh they probably man you see this nigga on Instagram man <laughs> like, what what's the, what what's the group dynamic are you like who's who's the wild one out of y'all four or is there a wild one i don't know if there's a wild one um i mean you know people probably would say joe you know just off of what they see of him in the public you know but everybody in slaughterhouse don't share as much as you know of their personal lives I as he guess, does I, I, I wouldn't have guessed joe who would you say when you say wild though what's the definition I, I mean I would say Royce 5'9 but he doesn't wear glasses anymore <laughs> well that's the thing well like, first off like we, like Royce ain't none of y'all motherfuckers ain't none of y'all hoes you know what I mean like so cause you know I know Royce from Michigan and yeah. you know he would get yeah. I would always guess that I would guess that Joel would be the wild one hmm that's interesting. Why? That because would be he's Dominican and he's Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, okay. I'm racially profiling his racially ass. Racially profiling. And I would guess, yeah. Well, like, I, yo, if you had to guess who ate granola here out of the three of us, who are you going to guess? Uh-uh. Man. My white ass. My mom sends it to me. Don't, you know, it's like. a granola bar. No, not homemade even, granola. Not even bars, bro. Jars. Granola jars, <laughs> man. Yes. The granola jar. <laughs> am I wrong? Am I wrong? Nah, nah, ah. nah, man. That be that butter, though, man. I ain't gonna no, front, but, man. All right, he are, said that's uh, the business. Or are you, <laughs> or are you the wild one out of them? Um, I've been accused at at time. I think we switch positions. You know what I'm saying? Now Royce is very mature. Like Royce is the mature, sober, talk to you very calmly. And, you know, you get on his nerves or something, you do something too crazy, he just going to give you a one-two combo. And, mm. then, you know, that's just it. You know what I mean? Um, Joel, he Brooklyn. You know how that go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Carhartt, Timberlands, you know, what's happening type, you know, Joey, very emotional. <laughs> so he's going <laughs> to he's gonna get pissed off fast, and he's going to want some answers pretty quick about some bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm I got to say, I relate to, I, I feel like my temperament is the closest to, to Joe's. <laughs> yeah, that's his temperament. Cause I'm, I'm laid back, bro. Yeah, but yeah. I just chill. But I chill. nut up on somebody. Well, too. you know, I mean, at the same time, we like light switches in Cali. It's like, if, if you click us on, we own. Yeah. And if you don't, <laughs> it's all good. You know what I'm saying? It's the best way I've ever heard that shit. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's all good shit, man. I, I prefer not to, engage because i've been there so many times and i know look dog when you really engage in a beef now you gotta bail your homies out you know what i'm saying your homies gonna get active now you gotta bail them out you don't want to get them a charge like i'm the guy who sees the big picture because i've been there right so it's like you know why do i want my homeboy to get a charge now I got to bail him out. I might have to help him with his legal fees. He was doing it all because he was with me. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So it's like, you know, I'm the one that's trying to be really, I'm trying to be diplomatic, man. You're like a grown up now. Yeah, I'm just trying to be, You're a fucking, you're like. Yeah, this I'm, grown is, at, I'm grown up, man. You got perspective of an adult. Yeah, exactly. It ain't. But at the same time, like you say, you know, when people try to, some people take advantage of that shit. Like, yo, you know what? All right, now we can move. And it's like, don't ever think you can move. You know what I mean? Because we're going to meet you with the same amount of force that you bring in. Anybody in the game, no matter rich, poor, don't matter. We're going to bring the same velocity, but, or more. But we would rather not. We would just rather chill, 
You know what I mean? What do you do now? Like, what do you do for fun? Do you go, do you go out anymore, or, or what do you do? You just chill? I, I just chill, man. You go to picnics? I, I really, I, I go to picnics, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, I really, dog, I love my house, dog. Like, I travel a lot, so I just love my house. I love being at my house. I love watching, you know, Netflix and Hulu and, you know what I mean, and shit like that. I like to chill. I, I smoke, you know, and now I vape. I used to smoke cigars in my backyard and just chill, listen to old school 90s hip-hop and R&B. And cigars do look cool as hell, man. They do, man. You know what the problem is? You look is? cooler in a picture with a fucking cigar. Yeah, the lie. problem is Al Capone isn't sitting there with a the vaporizer. You know I what know. I mean? That's the problem. We got to change that shit, man. Well, you, you, get, you better get a time <laughs> machine. You better get a time. You better get the flux capacitor. Cause that, they ain't going to change. No. But soon enough, look, man, you already got Leo fucking. We got vaping. Leo, man. We got you. <laughs> we got Leo, man. Hey, doing that hey, shit. Hey, hey. Yeah, well, I'm bringing this shit to hip hop, man. Listen, hip hop, y'all got to vape sometimes because, you know, you can you can control the amount of nicotine in, in a vape. You I can't, want all the nicotine. You can't do that shit in a cigarette. You know what I mean? Like, But you if you want all the nicotine and you want to vape, just take it up to like 24% and you're going to have like a cigarette with no filter straight was, to the face. I was thinking about just starting to just chew Nicorette. <clears throat> yeah. Why not? But I, I heard that nicotine is decent for like brain activity. See, it's always an up and a down to everything. Well, dog. yeah. I, yeah. There's, <laughs> I've, Damn, I've learned man. crooked eye that like yeah. <laughs> if it feels good, it's going to kill you. Like that's what yeah. I've, I've learned that if some shit feels good, that's not exercise. It will fucking kill you. That's real. It sucks. Bitches too. Yeah. I'm almost after after this after after we talking I'm going to I got to go I got to go get uh a fucking I got to go get tested. Just wow. Like, you doing some real shit. Dude, you you, you got to every got 4 to, to yeah. 6 months, man. Yeah. You just have to. So like this is it. Got to go get my fucking checkup. That but see, man. You don't do that? Well, I I'm not with the raw gang like that though. I'm with, I'm not with the raw gang either. Because the raw gang is out there. Like it's it's a get, man on Twitter. That raw movement is big. Tell me about this raw movement yeah, on these, Twitter. These motherfuckers, man. Tell us. Yo, they look at you like you an alien from Mars if you ain't raw raw dogging every bitch possible. You know these are the young kids, right? Yeah. This is why. This is my. They this, don't live to be old. This is my theory. <laughs> my theory is they didn't come up when AIDS. Like yeah, when we exactly. came up, AIDS came out. You thought scare. you could, Yeah, you thought you could get that from a toilet seat or a popsicle. Anything. Like, like anything. niggas didn't want to shake Magic Johnson's hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to be. The, they didn't want to go to the forum no more. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. So you right about that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's precisely it. We saw that shit erupt like a fucking volcano in Pompeii. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I always say it was harder to get pussy after that shit. Like yeah. nowadays like you could <laughs> it's back to free love again. Yeah, if look they at would Charlie get, Sheen. If they would get off their fucking computers for 10 minutes, they could be slaying pussy right now. Yeah. Sheen's like running up and telling them he had <laughs> Like, I got HIV. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Don't, Bitches don't give a fuck. They don't care. They ain't give two shits. Ah, man, dog. That shit and that motherfucking eating ass wave. You I know, wish they would stop that. That eating ass wave is out there, too. Like, that's, you know. It, it kills me, too, because that's what I can bring to the table. And that's right. what I have been bringing to the table right. is eating a butthole. Yeah. And it's not even, like, the most awesome shit ever. You just, you just throw it in. You do it for a couple minutes just to <laughs> fucking jazz it up. It's like, <laughs> hey, let's spice this yeah, up it's real like, quick. Hey, flip her on. It's just to show how fucking edible she is. It's not like there's not a clit down there. There's no, where yeah. do you do? You know what I mean? But, but see, the problem is, is when you eat in anybody's ass. See, that's the problem. Yeah, that's I, how they make it. They wave. They wave is no, any I'll, sexual encounter. I'll, that's eat me. the booty like groceries. No, I'm eating every asshole. Are you? Dog, if yeah. I don't give a fuck. Look at look okay. At so me. check this out. Yeah. So how do so how do you do it? You like do you like you eating a pussy from the back and then you just slip upward? No, and to this see is, this is to see if they like it or hey, not. If this, they say ooh, I'm then you like all right, cool. I don't even. I'm see all it. in. I don't even. <laughs> this is what I do. First off, like if she, you want you, I've had the, the, here, first off. Here's the bad part. This is the bad part. Crooked eye. I fucking I've ate an asshole and came up with some toilet paper. Oh, 
damn it. Yeah. <laughs> but this is here's the deal. My dad, my dad, I come from a I come from a very like my old man's first generation Italian immigrant. You couldn't waste okay. food. So <laughs> like he's caught me throwing out food and made me go to the kitchen, dig in the trash and eat the fucking food out the trash. Ooh. Now this is what this is what I'm working with. So eating a butthole is nothing. That's nothing. This is nothing. Eating a that butthole ain't, that ain't that's shit. lightweight, dog. That's so lightweight. Yeah. Fuck I First date material, you know what I mean? I eat ass on the first. But this is what you, does so, that work for you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. Yeah, it does. <laughs> hey, well, guess what? And here's the deal. And <laughs> Who am I? If you if you, were, if, if you respect yourself doing it, then yeah. they have to respect it. If you're well, like, yeah. I shouldn't be doing this. No, you're confident about yeah. it. You're confident. Your confidence is showing. I'm so. You know what I'm saying? So well, I had to do it because, like, at first I could do. I think I've had this discussion it's, before. It seems like it gotta be like a. A, a nice round cheeky you know ass though can it just be like that helps. any kind of ass that helps i've eaten a holocaust booty it's not <laughs> as much fun it's not as much fun crooked eye <laughs> so you don't even need a you you do you have a special lady have you had a special lady where you're just like all right valentine's day i'll eat her fucking butthole whatever i haven't really ran across you know only in my lifetime only a few women who actually like that Here's, or admit it this that is this is the like thing that and th- this is the technique you I was going to tell saying? you that I w- that this is what I usually do, you know you you eat the pussy yeah. fuck for a minute, f- do the doggy style flip flip flip, throw her face into the pillow wow like you already right. got and then like so you're holding her down and then you just fucking face to butthole and go straight to the <laughs> butthole right there like yeah. straight to the butthole. There's hole. no discussion about this. This is straight happening to the cracky ass. Straight to the crack. You don't give them a chance. The cracking. Release you, the cracking. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Nah, man. Try it so, out. So, so, you know what, though? I'll, hey, you guess Blow what? some vape in her fucking asshole. Yo, like, I might. Incorporate that Say shit. Say that shit come out of her mouth. Oh, I do, <laughs> I do what you, your man did. The cameo did. Put the cocaine in her ass. Well, you know, they like that numb situation. But at the same time, I mean, you know, like we talking about. You know, fucking Amber Rose, mm. you know, saying Kanye like his oil check. You know what I'm saying? Do you believe that? I don't believe 99.9% of what chicks say. A, a ex-girlfriend would say. I agree with you. You know what I'm saying? I agree with you. But, you know, if he, you know, if they wanted, if he wanted to get down like that, I said, yo, I was fucking around with this porn star one time, right? And she, she tried to go down there, you know what I mean? And, I felt a finger. Yo, dog, I jumped off that bed. Motherfucker what? Like a muff, like, dog, I levitated about six feet off that fucking bed mattress and was like, ah, what the fuck are you? Like, that's going to be a, that's going to be a big step for you. Yeah. And I can't, I can't really, that Scarface told me when I was young, you know, on one of his songs, he wasn't talking to me, but I felt like he was. He said, (laughs) exit only. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, would you let would you let a girl? Hello. All right, based on the whole Ghetto Boys, would you let a girl eat your butthole? No. Well, in I'm Ghetto cool Boys and Gangster of Love, he said that. Yeah, they're all yeah. Yeah, I, and that was the jam, but yeah. call I me. can't fuck with that call shit. Me. <laughs> gangster <of> Love, <laughs> bitches look at me like I'm a <laughs> yeah. No one no, goddamn God well. well. I'm a motherfucking heartbreaker. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, I can't do that shit. Fuck. Oh, that. come on. What do you think? Can't. What do you think of this whole Kanye West and Wiz Khalifa thing? Um, I watched the interview with Wiz yesterday, where he kind of like broke it down, and you know, they what I liked about it was he they said, "Are you guys gonna make music now that you you know kind of made up?" And he was like, "Let's focus on being friends. I rather focus on a friendship first. I kind of like that. That's some real shit. But at the end of the day. You know, it's like you said, you know, this is where we are with beef. You know, beef is some Twitter shit. Did you feel like, did you, did you feel that, uh, what, what Wiz said was valid? About the Max B shit? Yeah. I, I mean, you know, this is hip hop. You know what I'm saying? And before Jay released Blueprint, Karis One had an album called Blueprint. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's really not too many ideas that's new under the sun if you know your history. Um, I don't feel like Kanye was trying to, you know, jab at Max B. You know what I'm saying? But um, I do understand that I'm tired 
of artists not being able to have an opinion of other artists. Right. I'm sick of that. Like hip hop is too sensitive. You can't say shit about shit. It's like the barbershop talk stays in the barbershop. And why do you think that is? Because it's too sensitive. Do you think these motherfuckers? Okay, here's the whole breakdown, dog. What happens is you have some power, right? You're a, you're a rapper, you're an artist, you're a producer or something like that. You got followers on Twitter, you got followers on Instagram, people follow you. You say something and a real opinion of yours, like, yo, that, that shit that Future did was garbage. Then Future gets upset because he says, yo, listen, man, you have a large following. And this is just totally an example, but I'm just saying an artist, whoever. You have a large following and you might be taking food off my plate by convincing them that my shit is not dope. So you kind of like, you know, invading my the way I get paid, homie. That's how that's really what cats think. <clears throat> that's what cats think. They feel like, yo, you have a, a, a voice in the music industry and you're using it to potentially hurt the sales and hurt, you know, my fans following me. I understand that, but like if your song's good, then whatever MC such and such says with a million followers, it's not gonna fucking matter because your song is gonna, your song will, will prove that it's good. Either they like it or they fucking don't. Yeah, and then you can't have an honest conversation. So when you can't have an honest conversation, it's like, yo, an up and coming artist walks in here about to do the all out show. It's like, yo, his PR person tells him, listen, don't use the word culture vulture because that's that's going to date you. You're going to sound old if you say that. Um, don't do this. Don't give an opinion on an artist. If he asks you what you think about this artist's music, just say that it's dope. This is what they. This you, is the type you've, of, you've heard this yes, conversation. Yes, this is the state of hip hop currently. This is where we are. And you want to get away from that? I hate that shit. So who then? Who don't you like? Um. Who don't I like? And who do you like? Who who are you fucking with? I like, I mean, you know, it's kind of obvious when you got like a J. Cole and you got a Kendrick. It's kind of like obvious guys. that those are the kind of guys that I would gravitate toward more. Who are you, who are you, you know puzzled by? Who are you I'm puzzled, puzzled by? I'm puzzled by a lot of people. I mean, you know. Um, See, and let that, me think. Let me think. Let me and really that was think. fair. Like, it, 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 like, Just to be honest, like I'm... Who who put out a song recently that just really puzzled me? I gotta think. If I heard it on the radio, I'd be like, "Yo, this shit puzzles me." Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I barely listen to FM radio. Right. You know what I mean? I rarely listen to that now because even the f people are corny that's fucking doing the show. I don't think that. I know I've heard some. Of, I, I I just flicked on and shit. I'm like, why do like I, I hear my show and I'm like, man, we suck. And then I hear other people. I'm like, oh man, we're killing these fucking cornballs. <laughs> exactly. Hey, dog. we're in the building. What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. MC yeah. Subject, where? I'm Ricky. Yeah, Tricky, I'm talking. Ricky. I'm talking with a smile on my face. Everything <laughs> is all. It's like, what the fuck are you? Man, come on, man. I mean, one thing that I do like about New York radio when I'm out there, I feel. More like I'm listening to hip hop shit. I'm feel like the, I feel like the DJ is more into the hip hop shit. I feel like the motherfucking radio personality is more into the hip hop shit. I will say that when I'm in New York, when I'm in Cali, I don't feel that way much. Mm. There's only one or two people that maybe be able to give me that feeling like, yo, I'm listening to a real motherfucker who cares about hip hop, who loves hip hop, who probably fucking did all the things that I did growing up. In the name of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Do you think the thing that killed, uh, th that is hurting hip hop is the popularity of hip hop? Yep, that's one of the things. I mean, because now people have to make a decision. Do I, you know, I'm getting this check over here. You know, do I compromise this check? I'm popular. Do I compromise my popularity or do I say some real shit that I really feel in my heart and soul? People usually pick the money and popularity over the real shit. You guys, I remember you guys, you guys on, uh, was it, I think two albums ago, you attempted uh, a song that was thought to be, have been a crossover song and got a lot of negative feedback because which of one that. was that? My life. Yeah, with CeeLo. Yep. And you know what's so crazy about that, CeeLo? You know, the the the, the young fans feel like CeeLo was he was on the Voice at the time. I think. Yeah, he, he doesn't remember. They don't. They don't remember, don't remember cell therapy. Cell therapy. Yeah, exactly. They don't remember. You know when he got um, hip hop quotable in a source. For um, get up, get out, and get some. Yeah, 
they don't remember that. All they see is him on the voice. You guys are trying to be big. No, listen to the lyrics. You still don't hear bars like that on the everyday on the radio waves. It's, it, it, I thought it was a dope song. And the crazy part is when we perform it, people get live. But, you know, that's the problem with Slaughterhouse. People put Slaughterhouse in a box so we can ship out records to different DJs. And they'll be like, nah, that ain't Slaughterhouse to me. I don't know if my fans are going to like this song. Like they'll prejudge it before they even give it a chance because they already got us in some sort of box. You got right now. You have you have a project with Static Selector, right? King Crooked. Mm-hmm. Tell me a bit about that. I actually want to. We're gonna play a couple songs off of it. It's yeah. high quality traditional hip hop. It's high quality traditional hip hop. Static is carrying that torch and and it's hard for him to carry that torch because look we in an age where slaughterhouse is being sued right now for a sample on a mixtape and it's a serious lawsuit and it's a song that was free this is what era we in so when you get sued for mixtape songs and samples a producer like static who does heavy sampling and he preserves the essence of hip hop when he's producing. Mm. It's very tough for him. There's obstacles there for him. And he's managed to conquer those obstacles and really still continue to bring a dope traditional sound. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted to go and do something with him on some MC DJ shit. Like, yo, this is the essence DJs and MCs. I'm not expecting the whole hip hop industry to go wild. You know what I mean? I don't got no auto tune on this shit. It ain't a bunch of 808s rumbling everywhere. You know, we ain't talking about certain shit that's keeping the industry, you know, going right now as far as, you know, like what? Like, like, you know, every single type of pill you could pop or, you know, every drug you can do. And I'm tired of Instagram models and uh, all this type of shit. I'm tired of these rappers being culture vultures of my white experience of popping pills and fucking. They are. They are. Because, you know, you know, you know, no, they're trying to get they're trying to get this. They're misappropriating (laughs) your culture right now. Mr. We wasn't in the medicine cabinets. No. Black people was not in the medicine cabinets. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we wasn't. Over tussing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. It's crazy to see shit, uh, see, see the exchange of ideas yeah. going back and forth between between uh, different cultures. Yeah. But you're right. It is. It has become one note of like, we're going to go party and pop as many pills as possible. And yo, there's a place for that, but if it's yeah. just that, it gets boring. It gets boring. Like I like I always say, I don't want to hear a slaughterhouse in a strip club. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not here for that. You know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, it, it, we need a balance. And, and you know, I just think that Static King, what we bring it to the table right now, is something for the new generation to get that feeling that I had when I popped open Illmatic and I popped open, you know, different different projects where dudes were on that boom bat but spitting that hard shit, that raw shit, you know. So I, I'm just trying to recreate experiences. I think a lot of my career is basically just recreating some of my favorite music experiences in my own way, you yeah. know, on a project. That's just basically what I'm out here doing. Well, Sam, what do we got over there? What songs? Yeah, what we got? We got uh, Debtor in Jail and Everybody Know. Word. Okay. All right. W- which one do you want to play? Let's play Dead or in Jail, man. That's that's a joint, man. You know what I'm saying? It's smooth, it's but it's deadly. <laughs> smooth, but deadly. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it's dope, man. Cook, I, I, felt, I felt like I was in, the, uh, in, in that tribe, native tongue, all that type era when they was doing My Buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He sent the beat to me. That's how I felt. You know what I mean? So it was fun, man. Yo, it was great having you having you come on here and thank you, man. Thanks and discuss me. everything from uh, rappers to vaping. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you for having man. me. No doubt, man. Hit me up when you eat that special lady's butthole and tell me what you think hey, of it. Hey, man, you know Valentine's Day is coming up, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right around the corner. <laughs> Don't stay down there too long, though, man. <laughs> Chick is boring. <laughs> ah, man. Let's go. Let's go. This is the all-out show on Shade 45. 
Hey, everybody having a bit of problems in your life and you need some help with your life? Well, take control of your life. Pick up the phone. Dial 888-742-3345 and talk to Jude Anthony Angelini. This is your first step towards empowerment. Talking to me and asking me what you should do. That's how you're going to get empowered. You call up right now with your girl problems, your boy problems, your fucking um, job problems, any of these types of problems. That's, that's mostly what it is, right? Fucking family, love Life, money. That's that's the big. Those are the boom, boom, boom. That's the trifecta, the trinity of fucking shit going on in your life. You call me up right now. I got you. Ah, oh, you're a shy guy, are you? Well, you don't you don't want to call up. Girl might recognize your voice. That's cool. Drop me an email. Alloutshow45 at gmail dot com. Alloutshow45 at gmail dot com. And uh put what would you do up at the top and you know write a little email and i'll read it on the air and i'll i'll write back to you here's one from uh a gentleman i'm gonna leave his name out of it so me and my girl had a hall pass a couple years ago but i never acted on it until right before it was over right when it ended i met this girl we chatted for a bit and i knew she was down to bang anyway we cut ties since it was over so we never fucked me and the girl reconnected and I told her I got a girl. She has a man, but she's still down to be on the side. Should I do it? <sighs> you, you you have a hall pass and you can't get any pussy within that time period? The fuck is wrong with you? And now you want to know if you should cheat? I, you know. <sighs> sure. Sure. That's what you want to do. I, that's what you're looking for, right? You were looking for me to tell you to go fuck this other girl. You had a fucking chick that was so cool that she was willing to give you a hall pass for a certain amount of time. And you couldn't seal one deal. Why don't you... There's two ways to do it. Cheat, get some pussy, forget about it, deny in your brain that it ever happened and continue moving on with your life. And a lot of times stepping out on a person, you know, it's not always negative. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not always negative. Sometimes it makes you appreciate your fucking girl more. I, you know, you're like, God damn, I forgot how good my pu- my girl's pussy was because this bitch got a cave pussy. You know, you say you, 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 you oh, man, her shit, her pussy smell like a boxing glove. Like, I, and that's natural for her, man. This shit is my girl is awesome. You know, like. There's all, or maybe you fuck the shit out of her and you feel like more of a man. I don't know. Maybe you boost your self esteem. Maybe that's what you need in life. I'm not here to judge, uh, cheating. I'm just saying there could be some positive outcome to this. But, I don't, sounds like you got a really cool fucking chick that would let you go fuck somebody on the side. So why don't you, you could do it that way or you could just be like, hey, babe. Wait a couple months and be like, hey, let's do that hard pass shit again. And hit up this broad and then fuck her, fuck her without the guilt. Fuck her without the guilt. Did you give your girl a hall pass to go get some dick? Does she want dick or does she only want your dick? Because some women, they don't want all the dick. They just want your dick. These are all things that you didn't tell me that need to be discussed further on. And we don't have time for that. So... That's my advice to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Call up right now. 888-742-3345. 888-742-3345 is what would you do? It's coming up next. This is the All Out Show on Shade 45. It's like a ray of light beaming down knowledge from the heavens above. What would you do? Need advice? Call us up right now. 888 Shade 45. What would you do? Shade 45. 888 is the number to dial. Let's go to the phone lines. We got uh, Scott in Alberta. What do you want to do? Hey, dude. Just want to say big What's... fan. Uh, awesome. So I'm in a shitty situation. Financially, I can't move. Uh, I hate my boss, and I'm up for a promotion that I know I'm not going to get. 
and I'm pretty much going for it just to spite her. And like, I don't know, I feel like I'm going to do some reckless shit. Uh, yeah, obviously I'm stuck and I don't know what the fuck to do. Don't do anything. Don't do anything that's going to sabotage this shit. Go for the go for the promotion. Try to keep a good attitude and start actively looking for another way to make money, man. Anything is tolerable if you have a plan. Okay? You need yeah. to come up with a plan. I don't know what it's going to be, but you need to come up with a plan. Don't leave your job until you have somewhere else to go to. Fucking suck it up. Get punched in the face every day. Smile, say thank you. Keep a good fucking attitude. And come up with a plan to get some money somewhere else. All right? What do you do? Uh, I don't want to say just like I, I okay. work in hotels. Right. I can't reveal too much because right. I could get in shit. Okay. But, uh, All right. Well, yeah, there you no, go. Like, find another hotel. Yeah. Find another hotel. Find another not, place. But it's not even that. It's like eh, for me, this job was always a means to an end. Like, I don't want to be doing this forever. Like, oh, I'm, I'm a bellman. It's, you know, it's pretty labor-intensive well, and, like, hurt, you know, my back sore every day, all that kind of shit. Well, lift with your lift with your legs. Scott. <laughs> you want to do that for sure, bro. And then, all right, yeah, then right. you don't want to be a bellman for the rest of your life. Figure out what you want to be and go be it. And, look, you might end up having to keep this job for another couple years. Just be patient and go get it, man. Yeah, man. All right, I appreciate the, the Tough help. Tough enough. You can day. do it, man. Peace. Tyler in Naples, what up? Oh, hey, dude. Um, What's up? My, my girlfriend, we've been dating for two and a half years. She wants to get married, which I'm totally down for, but she won't do anything except the diamond ring. I don't really want to buy a diamond, but she says if I can bring anything else to her, she's going to say no and dump me. But what do you think I should do? Tell her that you don't negotiate with terrorists and that she's going to get what you're going to give her. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Get something sentimental for my family or her family, and yeah. if she and they give it to her, and if she really, if she really feels that way, then she's gonna turn me down. Then, then so be it, right? Yeah, that's it. Fuck that shit. Look, fuck it. I, yo, if you start off a relationship where she's like, if you bring me anything else, I'm gonna say no. Fuck you, like bitch. Fuck you. Yeah, it, it, fuck it, you. You ain't got the gilded pussy. Like unicorns don't come out your twat. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, a little, dog. A little later, but um, also, hold on a second. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me hold on, bro. Let me finish. The other thing yeah. too is, uh, yo, man, go look up online. We, we we just had this book stoned, where she talked about it. Like the whole diamond industry is a fucking sham. Diamonds are worthless. What they do like is they control. They control. They control how many how many go out. So the supply and demand is is uh so. I'm, look, man, I'm dumb. I can't really explain it, but they they basically control the amount that go out so that they can uh, they right. can dictate the prices. But they're not they're not rare stones. Right. They're just they're not very stone. rare stones. It's so open. give her a little <laughs> give give her that little pamphlet. Look that shit up on the internet. Show it to her, and uh, go from there. All right. In worst yo, in worst case scenario, get her a fucking cubic zirconian. <laughs> That's what I was thinking too. Fuck her. <laughs> that will backfire even worse though. <laughs> Whatever. You'll be married for a while. Be like, yeah. I hear you that you had to have a diamond and you had to understand that uh that I don't believe in buying bullshit be just because people say it's say it's worth something. So here we right. are. Gotti in Atlanta, what's up, man? Yo, what up, man? Uh yo, I got my dream job and shit and everything was good for a little minute. But um, I'm the only black dude in the entire company, man. I'm kind of getting tired of hearing motherfuckers say shit under their breath and all that kind of stuff, man. What do they, like, what do you do and what do they say? I mean, yo, I'm not even Muslim, but, you know, I hear people say things like, uh, like, yo, Obama knows who did it. It was his muzzy brother. You know what they're I not mean? Talking I they're not saying nothing to you. You're right. Yeah, you're right. So, like, look, man, you're going to have to divorce yourself from all of these other... Like, yo, if they're not saying something directly to you, let it be, dog. Like, this is your this is your money, dog. And take, this as, a, take this as an opportunity to just see how cats really think. You know what I mean? Like, you're... That's, yeah. That's what I've been with, doing. I just sit back and listen and observe. Yeah. 
Just sit back and listen and observe. And like, and here's here's something even that's even more blind, mind blowing. Just because you don't agree with these motherfuckers, don't necessarily make them bad people. They're just coming from a different place, man. They just been conditioned differently. So you being yeah, around man, these cats, it. you being around these cats is actually good for them. They 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 can they can learn. They can learn from you. You can show them man. what's up. Word, man. I really appreciate it, man. That's some real shit right there. And uh, yeah. as far as that topic, that's the realest thing I've heard from, you know, bouncing it off of friends and all that. Yeah, man. Like, look, man, you got to be patient. You got to be tolerant of other people's intolerance. And if they're not if they're not shooting it directly at you, let that shit roll off your fucking back, dog. Take I appreciate I've been, that, man. I've been, I've been the one white person in a lot of situations a lot of fucking times. And, yo, dude. Like, I would get the same shit, too. But, like, whatever, man. You just you just sit there. You soak up game. That's all you can do. And get that fucking all right. money. And, and, Appreciate and here's it, man. Another, Gotti, show up early. Yeah. Stay late. Because they don't expect that of you. <laughs> Surprise these motherfuckers, man. For real. I appreciate it, man. All right, now. Chandra. All right. Peace, Gotti. Chandra, what's up? Yeah, what's up, dude? So, what's your problem? So the nigga cheated on me. I've been with him for 11 years. It's like, do you, do you survive a relationship like that? Should I stay? Should I go? What do you do? All right, you caught him cheating. You guys been together 11 years. You got a kid together or anything or what? No, no, no kids. I'm like, this. I'm 45. What the fuck am I going to do? Go get with another asshole and go through the same bullshit? No, I hear you. Look, man, like, that. don't, don't don't have this the feeling that you can't get another person be the thing that's going to keep you with him have love keep you with this motherfucker like if you love him and you think that you can work it out and you think this is a one off deal uh, people make mistakes if you think you can work past that but if this is something that he does and you don't want to tolerate it first time I caught him so hey alright look man yo 11 years one fuck up I think I think you, you forgiving him yeah. would would probably benefit the both of y'all. And, and to be like, hey man, you might even want to go talk to somebody. It's worth it's worth putting a little bit of money, investing a little bit of money in this situation. You've been with him eleven years, man. Eleven years, yeah. I know, and I know you're pissed off. I know you're mad. I know you're fucking mad. Yeah, I was looking at the other day. That's the Mr. 12 inch. I told you, pound it around. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, go talk to somebody. And this is the first time you caught him, so. You know. All right. And All if right. you gotta go cheat, yo, if you gotta go cheat to make it better, fucking go cheat. But don't <laughs> tell his ass. Chandra, that's, don't don't tell him about it because that's just gonna make it even more toxic. You don't want to you don't want to make it even more that's toxic. The shit, all right? That's the shit he said. But it's like if you love a person, how do you tell him to go fuck somebody else? He, what? I don't know. That's why you. That's why y'all need a psychiatrist to fucking be talking in between both of y'all cats. All right, I do that. Bye. Good luck. All right. All right. Kendall in Portland, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's your problem, dear? Well, um, our company is about to get the patent on DHO extraction machines across the United States. But the problem is... Wait. All the- what? Hold up. The the company's going to get the patent on ex- what kind of extraction machines? Butane extraction machines for weed. Okay. All right. And so, and, and then what? So, all these motherfuckers before have been talking shit to us and... So when we get the patent, we're not sure whether we should shut them down or whether we should make money off of them by getting a percentage off of their sales and letting them keep make, making their machines. Um, I would. Are you in charge of the company or something or what? Yeah. Okay, then I would. I. I. I, I don't like cutting money out of my fucking out of my pockets just out of pettiness but so if okay. if you can license if you can license your patent to them and make money fucking do it but if you're willing to take on that workload and push everything out and and handle things from the soup to the nuts do that instead but it sounds to me that cutting everybody out is gonna is gonna be more work for you if you're up to do that work then go ahead and do it 